Hey YouTube, Mike the Renai Guy here. How are we all doing today? Hope we all had a safe and productive week and we're all enjoying our endless hot water. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. Today's video is going to be on a question that I get from a lot of plumbers and techs. And that is the gas piping near the tankless heater and the type of regulators that I use or would recommend. So, we'll, go, we'll start with regulators. There are a multitude of companies out there that sell regulators. I have pretty much installed all of them, but I have found two companies that are pretty much top of the line regulators, whether it be for natural gas or for propane. Now, pretty much every regulator is good. But how many regulators are we going to stock on our trucks? All right? So that's why I narrowed it down to two companies. The first company, which I have really mentioned a lot about, is Pietro Florentine. Right, it's an Italian regulator company. They make pretty much every size regulator, every poundage, inside, outside regulators. And I find these regulators, be the ones that we use, which is the, well, this is a half inch one. It's an F31051-1BP, and it has the black spring. We're going to take these out. I'm going to show you. And I'm going to have all of the model numbers in the descriptions below. So these Pietro Florentine, I find to be really like my go-to regulator. Those are, this regulator here will handle two pounds in and eight to 14 inches of water column out. Now, it can also handle five pounds in, so maximum five pounds, but they are rated for like inside a house at two pounds. And eight to 14 inches out set at eight inches of water column. A three quarter Pietro, here, this is a three quarter one, will handle just on the 1.1 million BTUs. Now, throwing these onto our house with a tankless, a stove, a dryer, a fireplace, a barbecue, you're not even gonna reach that 1.1 million BTUs. And the half inch one is going to handle around 800,000 BTUs. Again, these are set, and there is a rating plate, two pounds in, eight to 14 inches of water column out. Okay? Now, if we have larger pressure, which you're going to find on a propane system, I like these MEC regulators. Okay? Now, these MEC regulators for propane now have to be rated for 10 pounds and you're going to need two different types. Now we have the dry erase board over here. We're going to spin the camera around. We're going to do some drawings to explain what I'm now, excuse me, draw what I'm explaining to you right now. All right, this regulator here is the tank pressure or 10 pounds, 10 pounds, because you're going to have the tank regulator which reduces the tank pressure down to 10 pounds. When that goes in the ground, you're gonna have 10 pounds of propane. Now, most of the country is like that, but just double check. Now, if you're in Florida, that's what you're gonna have. The code states the tank is above ground, but when it goes into the ground, you gotta have 10 pounds. This regulator here will reduce, when you come up out of the ground and go into the house, this regulator here will reduce the 10 pounds. Now this, and I brought two different types. This is a straight through. So your inlet is right here. It's always with the, the bolts, the screws, and it's a different color. You have 10 pounds going in, and then you have two pounds coming out. Then 
at the tankless or uh, generator pool heater, you would then put a Pietro Florentine. So between this and this, you have 80 feet of pipe. And now you're going to go from two pounds to inches. So this is the one type of regulator. So this is the one that will reduce from 10 pounds to two pounds. Now, sometimes when we run the line, see, we don't install the tanks. The, the propane company will come in, put blocks on the floor, and put the tank in. They will give us the tank regulator, the whip, and one of those regulators. And then after that regulator, then we supply the others. But now, say we're going to, here's your tankless heater right here, which are normal piping. We're going to go over in a minute. Now, we come up out of the ground, we have 10 pounds. Now we have an MEC regulator, which is actually called a second stage. And what this does, and if you notice here, it's rated at 9. Let me, I'm going to look up there while I'm pointing. Here we go. It's 9 to 13 inches of water column. So this regulator... This regulator, you see this is a 90, it's green, opposed to the white one, which is 10 to 2. But again, black, black, that's your inlet. This regulator now, we'd have 10 pounds coming, you know, we'll come up, have a valve, 10 pounds. Then this regulator will reduce it 2 inches. So if, just say, we were right here and feeding the tankless, we can have this regulator because we don't need to reduce it down to two pounds. We could reduce it down to inches. And they make straight through and angled. Now you can install these like this. They cannot be installed upside down on an angle. They can be installed like this or like this. This regulator here is my go-to propane regulator because as you can see it's a 90 it works really nice and the beauty about this regulator and I don't have one I didn't have one is that this bolt right here you can put a plate goes through here and it, and then the, there's wings on the plate that you can mount it to the house and this would go into the house to reduce from your 10 pounds to inches just say your tankless was on the other side of the wall here. And then you had a stove, say 30, 40 feet away, a dryer 20 feet away, a fireplace 20, 30 feet away. You would just put this like that, right through into the house. Your valve here, the plate, screw it to the house, Bob's your uncle. So, on, let me hold this here a second. So what you see here is a common hookup for a tankless heater. You have your gas, whether it be coming out of the wall or coming up out of the ground. You would have your, you would want a valve on the opposite side of this regulator, not to go over and close the tank valve. Again, it's like having a switch outside for your tankless. You don't want to use the breaker. Now you have your control valve. So whether it's low pressure coming out of the wall, if it's natural gas, or low, low, all high pressure, 10 pounds to inches or 2 pounds to inches, you're going to have your control valve for the tankless. Then right after the control valve, I use, this is a high flow gas flex, by Easy Flex. Okay, this one is 18 inches. I carried them 18 and 36. We're going to get to 36 in a minute. Then I always make a 90 degree turn into the T. It looks a lot better than having this thing go on an angle this way. You could end up kinking it. So I like a nice S up into it. Elbow, nipple into the T. This is the fitting. There's your test port. Your tankless would be right here. And then your drip leg, your nipple and cap. This acts as a union. So you shut this off, now you can disconnect this. You don't need to put in a union. Your flex 
is your union. Now, say you do have high pressure coming, whether it be 10 pounds to inches or 2 pounds to inches. So you have your 10 pound to inches and you have your 2 pound to inches. Now, the Pietro also, you could put it this way or this way. Not upside down, not on an angle. That way, horizontal or vertical. But these regulators, no matter if it's 10 to inches or 2 to inches, they're to go 3 feet away from the appliance. Some appliances, like a generator, require 6 feet, or pool heaters. They require up to 6 feet away. That is to prevent what they call the regulator lockup. That there's not enough uh, distance between the regulator and the appliance and when the appliance goes to high fire it could open up this regulator or lock it out and nothing gets to the tankless and you get a code 12. So whichever one uh, 10 pounds to inches or 2 pounds to inches or 5 pounds to inches you'll probably never see one pound. It's going to be 3 feet away from the appliance. That's the reason that I carry three foot um, gas flexes. So that if my, my um, inlet two pounds or 10 pounds is this close, I'm not gonna get three feet. But if I turn this upside down, put my regulator, as you can see, I mark arrows on all my, right. see I, we actually put this regulator in and I ended up having to put it a different regulator because it was a totally different appliance. So we just unscrewed it. But as you can see, I put arrows on all my regulators to tell me to flow. There is an arrow right here. Again, my, yep, you see the arrow? But I put arrows on them to make sure. But also the outlet side of a Pietro is the vent limiter or outside vent cap. And this here is your adjustment screw down for more pressure up for less pressure and this would be your adjustment screw on the MEC right there that's your adjustment screw there now this is your actual vent let me just get this on so we don't lose it this is your vent if it's close to any type of source of ignition you have to pop this screen out. Behind this screen is a three-quarter male, excuse me, three-quarter female fitting. You're going to need a male fitting to go into it. And then bring a PVC line gray, like electrical pipe, five or better feet away. Because if, when this thing vents, it's going, it could accumulate gas by a source of ignition. Like um, an air-conditioned compressor or the main panel, the meter, pool equipment, anything like that. On a Pietro, you have this little vent head. These things are designed to emit very little amount of gas through the vent. But the vent is also there so that it equalizes the pressure, it brings air into it to equalize the pressure in this diaphragm. It does a lot more, but that's pretty much everything in a nutshell that a regulator will do. So now, let's go over here to the dry erase board and we'll go over the piping. Alright, can we see this? Yes, we can. All right, we're going to go with natural gas first. On natural gas, blue, <coughs> red. I did the colors because that's the orifice inside of a sensei. If you have blue, you have NG. If you have red, you have LP. And that's what you're going to see. NG, natural gas, LP, liquid propane. So you have your surface that comes up out of the ground. There was a, there's always a valve. Then you're going to have your first stage regulator. That regulator could reduce, normally it's about 5 or 10 pounds that comes out of the ground, reduces it down to inches. 
Then it comes out of it comes out of the meter. So this is the inlet side of the meter. This is the outlet side of the meter. Comes out of the meter and then goes to whatever appliance. Let's just say we it's a tankless. Okay? It's your tankless. But you're only like 10, 15, 20 feet away. Now, let's just say now we have our tankless heater 80 feet away. All right. So now what's going to happen is this is now going to change to two pounds first stage, two pounds. Most gas meters are going to have a red face and it's going to have a red cap on the adjustment screw on this regulator. And most of the time these are all gray powder coated ITRON or infield regulators. That's what the um, utility companies use. So you're going to have the line now you're going to have the line that goes into the house. You have to put a regulator here to reduce the two pounds to inches for the house. That's like the stove, the dryer, the fireplace, the barbecue. Who knows what else is inside the house. Then you're going to run your line to the tankless. This is 80 feet. And then you're going to put your other regulator right there and this here is three feet. Now on natural gas, most of the time the utility company is going to put a, a valve right here. You're, can put, you're going to put a valve right here when you run your line. So that valve will be able to control the inlet side of the regulator if you have to change it. Then this valve here is your control valve that will control the tankless heater. Now, that can be a pool heater, it can be um, a generator, something that is going to need like 200,000 BTUs, a tankless heater, a Sensei, or like, a, like an RUR, or an RU199, or an RL94. That is 100, say 200,000, let's make our math easy. But a pool heater or generator, 399,000 BTUs, 400,000 BTUs. So you're going to need a bit, of, um, a bit of pipe. Now, you also might run the line. Here, this is the ground, right? You might have to go like this with underground gas pipe, poly pipe. You're going to definitely have a valve here. It is highly recommended to have a valve there so that if somebody is digging, planting, putting bushes in, flowers, and hit that, because this is going to be a minimum, a minimum of 18 inches under the ground. So, or better, 20, 20 inches is better. You want a valve there so that you could shut this off if somebody ever hit this and they could still have gas inside the house. So this is pretty much a standard thing with um, a natural gas system. Now, on a propane system, a propane system you're going to have just a tank. And your tank is going to have a valve, a fill, a relief, a bunch of stuff inside of it. And it's going to have a dome. And that dome is going to lift, might even have two holes for a lock. You're going to have a whip which is like a 1 8 inch piece of heavy copper okay, that has a quarter inch inlet and then a PRA on the other end which is a left thread that threads into the valve. There's going to be a tank regulator here and they are, they are red in color. That regulator is going to take tank pressure and reduce it down to 10 pounds or 2 pounds. Two pounds, let's make our tankless here again. Here's our tankless. Not very pretty. You might come out of it and then run it along the house. 
right to here. Have a valve. But your, here's, this is the ground right here. It's on the bottom of the tank. This regulator here is going to be tank to two pounds because it's above the ground. They don't need to put 10 pounds in, two pounds. Then here, you're gonna put your two pound, two inches regulator, right there. Three feet away, three feet away. Doesn't matter, propane natural, three feet. Now, let's say you are now going to go in the ground. And I keep opening up the thing I have open. Now you're going to go in the ground. Now you're at 10. Can I do this backwards? Yes, I can. There, you're at 10 pounds under the ground. Then you're going to have another valve here. And then you're going to have your regulator, which is going to be 10 pounds. And then it's going to be two inches. 10 pounds to inches for this. So under the ground here, you have your poly, that's 10 pounds. And then it's going to come to your 10 pound to inches regulator, which was that um, green one. The brown one, this one here, this one here, you don't need, you see, you don't need to put a 10 pound to 2 pound and then a 2 pound to inches. This here is if, like, I would run, here, I'm gonna, I'll give you an example what I would run this for. Take this out, let's take this out, take this out, and this out here. All right, I'm going to run my line, let's make my ground. We're going to run our line like this, and then we're going to come up, and then we're going to put that, I got to do it this way, sorry, 10 pounds to 2 pounds, right there, 10 to 2. Valve. Now I come off this with a T. I'm going to come this way and over here is going to be my two pound two inches regulator, my Pietro. Then I'm going to come this way and I may go through the house to the other side of the house and I have a generator. And that is going to be six feet away. And again, this will be a two pound, two inches regulator for the generator. Or pool heater. So that's what I would use that for. Other than that, if I'm just running it from 10 pounds to inches, so let's just say we don't have, let's kick, take all this off, we don't have all of this. We're just going to go out of the ground, our regulator, our valve. Now that's 10 pounds to inches. I'm going to tie it into the tankless, I'm going to put a T here with another valve. And then I'm going to run this into the house, to the stove. I don't need two pounds to the stove. I can get away with inches. Even if this is like 70 feet, you can get away with inches. You know, it's 65,000 BTUs, 50,000 BTU stove. So that's where I'll use this regulator because these regulators are good for like a million plus. They're not even blinking an eye. So you could do a stove. You could even do a dryer.
You could do a fireplace. You could do all kinds of stuff with that. You got so much, you got so much juice in there that you can do it. And you could do it with this too. You could do it with this. On the natural gas, it's the same thing. On the natural gas, you could put, remember, it's on the outlet side, you're on the inches side. You could put a T here, put your valve, go to your stove, go to your fireplace, go outside the house to your barbecue grill. Now, if you stop, like I said, if you stop putting big stuff in like that generator, or a gener this is a generator, then this here, you're going to, if this is, say this was a generator, Say this was your generator. You have a generator on the other side of the house. Okay? You're going to come off of this side of the regulator, the two pound side. And you're going to put your other regulator, your valve, by the generator. Your two, this is another 2L2 two two inches. That's how you're going to do it. Okay? So I hope that answers quite a few questions. All right. So if you have a standard tankless, gas meter is right outside the wall. It's an inches. It's an inches system. You have your line. Now, you might have a half inch line coming up out of the wall. You can put a three-quarter, this could be a three-quarter by half elbow right here. If I always increase my gas pipe, even though it says Vernai can handle a half-inch gas line, I put, I don't carry none of these, I carry only these high full flexes for um, the Vernais. You're going to have your nipple, your valve, your flex, and again, it's easy flex, it'll be in the description below, into an elbow because it makes a nice bend into a T with your nipple and cap and into the tank lacita. All right. I hope, like I said, this answered quite a few questions. Everything will be in the description below. If you have a question or if you would like a Renai Guy sticker, which you saw on the boards, uh, send me your mailing address. I'll mail you one out. Or just email me the question. Again, I apologize if I'm not getting to all of the comments. I get them later um, in a week or two. That's when I see them. I try to answer them, but, you know, your problem might have been solved already. And I hope you like my sign. I did that on the Shape of Origin. Um, and then I painted it with... Uh, some of my model paint and it mounted it to the top of the uh, unit. I'm working on the Renai guy uh, now um, doing it with that shaper. So, um, all right. I hope you all enjoyed the video and you all be safe out there and I will see you on the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.